We're gonna eat shark? Yeah. Dude! That's my record. Yee! guys it's Sunday day three and it's been uh, an interesting night I was so stoked after taking these beautiful beautiful astrophotography pictures of the camp and some of the vehicles out here um, I really enjoyed doing that I was so surprised I surprised myself because uh, I had kind of forgotten how to do it so I was just experimenting it took me a long time but I finally was able to accomplish it I'm so happy about that uh, so today plan on doing a little breakfast. I'm saying goodbye to some of our good folks or good friends um, Just had my buddy from uh, El Paso and his wife. They just took off. They have a long drive It's like 10 hours from uh, this area just to get to their place. That's not counting the three hours two and a half hours that it gets Just to leave pins. Okay, it's a long drive. So they're trying to make it back to uh, El Paso and uh, anyway we're gonna miss them we're also gonna be losing uh, Michael Dove today okay with uh, Maroon GX 470 he's got a long way to go he's going to Lotus Texas so he's, he's got to take off uh, losing Brian losing uh, Mark losing Tony uh, who else are we losing losing Trey yeah base camp is, is moving out that's Trey so you know we're gonna Go ahead and stay here. It's going to be um, the boys, AJ, Hoser, Ethan, Mike, Whitney, and of course my buddy Juan and his wife Melissa. We're all going to hang out here today and tomorrow. We'll be taking off. So, man, I hope I can get some fishing done today. I really am encouraging uh, the boys to do some fishing. Uh, we haven't been that lucky with it. Uh, Mark got one red. That's about it. And of course the rest was just whiting and other little things like that but uh, we haven't been lucky with the fishing this time around of course I will I will confess we're out here for leisure we're out here to have a little fun and to really talk to each other sit by the campfire there's a lot of that going on and of course always eating well speaking of eating well I've been sticking to keto big time okay haven't broken my diet even under a lot of temptation, but I'm gonna tell you what, I couldn't get it done without the help of my friends at the Men Clinic and Mission. Check them out right now. Dr. Miranda's gonna call me up right now and he's gonna be telling me, giving me my results of my latest blood work. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, there we go. Hi there, this is Robert. Hello, Mr. Salazar. This is Dr. Miranda. How are you doing today? Doctor, I am doing great. How about yourself? Very good, very good. How are you feeling? I am feeling like a million bucks. So tell me, how, how much weight have you lo uh, uh, lost? Are, are you feeling any pains, inflammation? Yeah, I, I've uh, lost about 20 pounds. We, we really don't care about your weight. I care about your fat percent. I'm looking to decrease your inflammatory process. When we do that, your weight gets in line, your 5% gets better, your stamina improves, everything gets better. So that's where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. We're gonna give you some vitamin D. Your vitamin D is kind of on the low side. Yes. So that's also going to help with, you know, uh, weight loss, sleep, aches and pains, uh, uh, you know, all this other stuff. Guys, please go check out the Men Clinic. Tell them Coastal GX, Robert Coastal GX sent you. Guys, I want you to feel better about yourselves. I want you to feel better when you're out there, you know, camping, fishing, doing whatever you're doing. Uh, guys, 
I, I can't even explain to you just how special that is. It's a great feeling. It's like a fountain of youth. Go check out the main clinic. I'm here with my buddy Hoser. He's just around the corner right here. But uh, I promised breakfast for the boys, so. Whatever I have left over for food, I call it a Mexican dad breakfast. But I'm sure it's not just exclusive to Mexican dads. This has got to be for everybody. You take a leftover steak, anything that's protein from the night before, chop it up. If I had pico de gallo, I'd probably throw a little pico in there. And uh, some eggs, scramble it all up. And you got yourself a Mexican bre dad breakfast, man. It could be shrimp, it could be chicken, it could be anything. Just mix it in there with egg. Con huevito, todo está bueno. Hoser, how are they, bro? Really good, Rob. Yeah? Really good. Thank you, man. Doesn't need any salt or anything like that? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I'm going to get that pico de gallo, but I guess if anyone in camp had pico de gallo, we got the pico de gallo right here. Boom, and we have a fridge, so we're going to eat good today. Thank you, Ray. Good job. Okay, so Hoser's one of my new friends. And uh, he's a subscriber. Now we're good buddies. But this is what this is what his mom packed for him. Over here. <laughs> you know you can't can't do it without this. Good job, bro. <laughs> Who's ready for the next round, bro? The boys right here. Yeah, they they, they pretty much adopted me as their uncle over here. Okay, let me turn it around. They call me Theo Robert for some reason. Whatever, man. Okay, I'll be your Theo Robert. I got the boys right here. I got Robert. Ethan and AJ. Guys, are you guys having a good time so far? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a blast, man. It's amazing. I have Ethan over here. He's got one of my extra cameras that you always see me uh, on the videos. He decided to help me out. If there's any action out there uh, on the water, he's going to be taking care of it. And let me tell you this, guys. Let me tell you this. This is how it works. It is very difficult when you're trying to create content, you're trying to take care of uh, your campsite, you're trying to take care of uh, you know breakfast, other simple things like that, and then still remember to record and make sure that your audio is working. You have to be everywhere at the same time, you know. So anytime that you got good people with good attitudes that can help you create that content, bring them along, okay? You won't regret it. Okay guys, so it's Sunday and it's already packing up time for some of my friends. They're taking off. I got Brian over here, he's ready to go. I got Tony over here. Thank you, Tony. Blast. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Trey and Ray. It rhymes, right? It's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, everybody did wonderful. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, Michael! You gotta get Mike. How am I forgetting? Man. Mike! Dude, Mike. Yeah. without, without Michael, Mike. I wouldn't have been able to shower. And yes, yes, I did shower, okay? I shower. Thank you, Mike. Uh, what? Oh, what did he say? He said he helped you with the small of Oh, you were, those, you were the guy that was watching me through the window. Anyway, I want to thank all of these people for coming out here. They roughed it out along with us. Well, kind of roughed it out. We didn't really rough it out. You know, but uh, and I want to give special thanks to everyone that donated a little bit of coffee to me because I forgot my coffee, so I went step by step and stealing coffee and food from everyone. So, thank you so much, Mr. Mark. You want to say something? I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, God damn it. come on, man! <laughs> All right, guys, good luck. Thank you so much. Yeah, Love you. I decided to join in the fishing fun and notice something very different from surf fishing at SPI. Oh, there's a line here, dude. Oh, yeah, dude, look at that. Whose line is this? That's an old line. Oh. The amount of trash washing up on shore was worse than anything I had experienced at South Padre Island. Does he have anything that's just trash? Jesus Christ, dude. Where's the dirt? A shoe? So anyway, uh, this is what we've been noticing. 
so much trash even more than at south padre island guys even more at south padre island so we're kind of wondering if the dredging projects that has anything to do with this or if this is just typical of this area if you fish here at pins all the time let me know drop a comment below tell me if this is common or is this you know probably because they're digging stuff up out of that you know with that project for the, for the pass we're so close to it we're only half a mile uh, away so I don't know I don't know if this has anything to do with that let us know because this is really annoying all right AJ this is gonna be the good one bro Spiderweight, 80 pound liter, 60 pound mono. Do something with it tonight, or how do you prepare yeah. that? Yeah? yeah dude. We're gonna eat shark? Yeah. Dude! That's my word. Yee that Atlantic Sharp No Shark was the first and only keeper fish we caught that day. No one, for the exception of AJ, had eaten shark before, so you know we had to try it. AJ, he's ready to go with that delay. The harsh elements of the ocean takes a toll on my camera equipment. My audio decided to fail me right here, so I will narrate the rest of the cooking segment. Rio Grande Seasonings provided me with three of their awesome products on this trip. The chicken bling for poultry, the Monterrey for steaks, and the patodo for everything else. In this case, even for shark. AJ cut up some perfect fillets and I used the patodo seasoning to prepare it. I added a little butter and blackened it on my iron skillet in just a few minutes. Okay guys, so we've had it for a while. It's time to get them out. So, man, I am nervous about this. I am nervous. Look at this. Look at this, look at it from this side, it looks white, all right, the meat. Let's go ahead and leave that here. Bring this other one, bring it out here. Oh my goodness, I can't, it smells so good, guys. With that patodo seasoning and with that butter, it smells so darn good. But here's a moment of truth. You guys ready? I'm gonna cut it into three pieces. And we're all gonna try it out. Here's the first one, look at this. Oh man, that looks good, guys. That looks really good. Now, let's see how it tastes, okay? Here's another cut here, right here. That looks pretty good. Remember, all we did was use that seasoning and a little butter. This is a realistic situation, guys. You know, guys, you know that when you come out here, you forget stuff. I don't even have lime. I don't have anything else. This is all I had. So this is what we're gonna try out. Is everybody ready? Okay, take the first one, AJ. You are the one that caught it. Tell me what you think. Did you like it? Amazing. Yeah? Okay. Guys, I'm gonna try it now. Okay. I tried shark. And it's freaking good. Guys, this is good. I gotta get Ethan right here. Ethan. I'm also 
That's pretty good. That is good. It tastes like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but it's <laughs> Guys, that was delicious. I am so impressed. I'm so impressed and relieved. I want you to try one of these. And be honest. Okay. Eat it. What do you think? Yes, it is. I want you to taste this. Just try this one. What you got? Be honest and talk to me. Strippy. Is it sharp? Man, just right in the mud, man. It's just the wow. flavor. Oh my god, this is good, good man. You love it? Yeah. Never done it in my life. I tried it with that patolo seasoning and blackened it. It is amazing. Oh my god, the flavor. Yeah. Yes, the tenderness, the flavor. Good job, guys. Yeah. We did the taste test. We all tried it. And we're giving you our very honest, that's important, very honest review. This thing really performed miracles today. All right? This thing was wonderful. Uh, I think it really got me out of one. I, I really wanted this to be good. So uh, I think what would have been perfection to add to this if I would have had the condiments? I would have added, but that's just a taste, I would have added a little bit of garlic, okay? And I would have added a little bit of lime at the very end. And I think that would have been perfection. Of course, I'm sure it helps that the, that the shark was fresh. I mean, how long has it been, Ethan? Maybe uh, an hour, hour tops. And it was filleted immediately, okay? That was the other thing, that um, AJ moved quickly so that none of the chemicals, none of the toxins or whatever uh, that come along with eating shark, I guess, you know, didn't it invade the body. So everything was wonderful and I am so happy. So guys, pick up Rio Grande Seasonings Patodo and their line of products. Once again, I'll leave that link in the description and down here right below me, all right? Okay guys, well, we're gonna continue on. Later that evening, we got to hang out with Juan and Melissa at their beautiful campsite. I put my cameras away and decided to enjoy my last night at Pins like a normal human being. Hey, good morning, guys. It's the last day. We're packing up, getting my stuff ready over here. And as you can see, Got my buddy AJ over here, he just woke up. He's ready to roll. Mike over there, he's already picking up camp. And uh, I haven't checked on the other folks, but everybody, you know, is already getting ready to uh, take off. How do I like to do it? I like to take my time. I don't like to rush on things. I did wake up extra early this morning. And uh, I mean, I, I started already picking up stuff. My most of my stuff from inside the, the tent is already uh, packed and you know my stove is already you know ready to be put away and of course I have all this other stuff over here uh, packed in. Uh, I wanted to show you something real quick. So I think I forgot because we were concentrating on the drive. When we're coming up here we're concentrating on that drive and uh, keeping an eye on Trey. And I really didn't pay much attention to my fuel, or at least I didn't document it. But let me show you how much fuel it actually uh, took. It wasn't much. And uh, yeah, pay attention. don't pay attention to any of that other stuff. It's the key not detected. But uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's less than, than half a tank. I mean, it's a little more than a quarter, quarter tank and um, yeah, it didn't take much. I mean, you know, you can easily make it all the way to the end. Even in a gas guzzler like my truck here, like Sandy. Sandy is not fuel efficient, guys. This thing, you know, loves to drink it in. So if this thing can make it, uh, yeah, I, I think pretty much any normal 4x4 is gonna be able to make it out here with no issues.
issues with uh, one full tank of gas. If you're just gonna get out here, park, and uh, just camp out, you should be able to make it with one tank. It depends, of course, on the size of the tank. And I will post, I, I, I'm not sure how many gallons, you know, this particular, uh, you know, vehicle has, but I will place it down here in the screen so you know, to get an idea. And uh, so yeah, fuel up before you get to pins, and you should be able to make it out here. We're gonna continue to tear down, and uh, we'll see you on the road in a little bit. Sir, all right. Okay, I changed my opinion big time. I've changed my opinion big time when it comes to the Iron Man awning, guys. <clears throat> I guess I just needed more experience with it. It served us very, very well uh, in this day. These awnings, this is what I found out. And I'm going to be very honest with you. So, high winds. You know how bad they can get over here at the island. So, don't deploy them not just this awning but don't deploy any canopy if you know that the winds are going to be extreme you're asking for trouble either try to bring it down try to really secure it with i don't know a bungee cord or something anything extra aside from the guy lines be prepared but i will say this uh aside from that first day you know where it was really really nasty this thing has really served us well and uh I'm so glad I got it. I'm so glad I got it. It, it protected the generator, it protected the stove, it protected the stuff that was around, you know, in close proximity to the vehicle. So yeah, thumbs up, Iron Man awning. Four days out here, or actually five days out here, and it was able to withstand everything that pins had to throw at it, even in the middle of a cold front rolling in. So yes, thank you. Hello. Okay, good morning. Uh, am I speaking with Robert Salazar? This is he. Hi, good morning. Uh, <clears throat> I was surprised to get a telephone call in the middle of nowhere. Of course, the one time the phone works, I have to get that one telemarketer. Uh, do, do, do you have a couple minutes? Is it a good time? Uh, actually, no. I'm I'm on vacation. I'm I, I'm I'm like okay. six. Yeah, I, I'm 60 miles. I'm about to lose you. I'm I'm 60 miles into the the okay. beach over here by the East Cut, man. <clears throat> hey guys, so we just left camp. It's Monday. And uh, I barely have a voice, for, please bear with me. As you can imagine, you know, being out here for several days. Yeah, I, the body is tired, man. I can tell you, I, yeah, this time, yeah, I was able to shower. I was able to take care of myself that way. That was good. But being out here for this amount of time will beat down on you, okay? Especially if you're not used to it. Right now, I have some of my friends, the ones that were able to stick it out with me all the way to Monday for the full four-night experience. Uh, they're behind me right now, and that would be uh, Hoser and uh, AJ, Ethan, Mike, and of course, you know, uh, my good friend Juan and Melissa. You know, these people were hardcore. They stuck it out just like I did. And it's a first for for them so that, that I, I'm so excited they were still pumped this morning I will tell you this um, right now I'm yeah I'm a, I'm a little more than I have still over a half a tank so that should be plenty of fuel to get me back uh, I still have about four gallons of fuel in my jerry can so even if something if I was to travel or do some stuff around here it would have been limited, but I think it would have been the perfect amount of fuel uh, to use out here. Right now, we're super hungry, but we didn't have breakfast out here or any of that. All we wanted to do is pick up our stuff and, and uh, oh, is that Alexis? Wow, 
I just saw another Lexus right now. We're focused on trying to get back, you know, uh, hopefully we won't have any issues driving back. I don't see why we would unless there's some sort of mechanical failure here or there. For the series, that was four nights, five days, four nights out here at Pins to celebrate one more year of life. And uh, once again, that coastal grand crossover, right? That coastal GX, but we love to get up, get out, do something. I'm gonna dump my trash right now. And uh, I think we deserve some IHOP or Denny's or something like that. If you watch the entire series, I really thank you so much. I appreciate your support. And uh, yeah, I hope to bring you a lot more content. We got a lot of big things in the future, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Once again, we're gonna dump this trash. You gotta keep it clean. Talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.